Stefanski, man. I mean, I was all about show me, don't tell me. I had fallen for uh, you don't wear brown and orange, you don't matter. I fell for the whole thing with Kitchens. I got burned there. So I said, well, I'm going to wait to see on Stefanski. I'll admit it. My Browns fandom is already coming to the surface. I'm buying what Stefanski's selling. You, you sold out. You, you sold out already. I mean, here's the thing I like about him, Les. He gets, his team gets trucked in week one. They don't look good at all, right? Yeah. But he doesn't panic. He doesn't sound panicked. He doesn't at least publicly criticize anybody. He takes it on himself. He says, it's on me. And we've heard that before, granted. Yeah, most but of it phony do. when they did that. Most of it was... Well, right, but I, you know what? With Stefanski, though, he showed me that he learned from week one by his game plan and his play calling in game two. Granted, there's a world of difference calling plays against the, the Ravens, who are arguably the best team in the AFC. I mean, I know that they and the Chiefs are going to play each other this weekend, but the way the Ravens looked through the first two weeks and the Chiefs stumbling a little bit in that overtime victory against the Chargers, you can make a case the Ravens are the best team. We'll see on Sunday. But the point is, it's a lot easier to call a game against the, the Bengals than it is against the Ravens. But Stefanski did a terrific job, and here's one of the reasons I liked him. Odell. Week one, it looked to us on the outside like they had forgotten about Odell early and then they tried to force it to him. They, of course, denied it. But in week two, what did we see from Odell Beckham Jr.? We saw him produce in the flow of the game. It wasn't like Stefanski was saying, you know what, I got to keep Odell happy. I got to throw him the ball 12 times. Uh, six targets, four catches, 74 yards, uh, a very important touchdown catch on a long pass on the left side. But you didn't. You never felt like the Browns were sitting there going, we got to get 13 the ball. We got to get 13 the ball. And what happened? You had a terrific game plan. It was egalitarian. It was spread out. Everybody contributed. And you didn't hear any complaining afterwards because Odell didn't get enough touches or Jarvis didn't get enough touches. That's how it's got to be for the Cleveland Browns. Okay, two